Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this pivot slicer with year, months, and days uh, to become the filter in your uh, pivot chart and pivot table. So for example, you choose uh, year 2021 only, then that would be reflected on the table and the chart. And you can also use uh, the months here and also the days, just 15, first 15 days of the month. That's it. So you can choose all. So, uh, that's the topic for today, and we're gonna do that again in a uh, another workbook. So, we're here in another workbook, and in this report sheet, we're gonna put the pivot slicers, the chart, and the table. While on another sheet, the data sheet, we have here the reference data, which is the date and the quantity sold. So, uh, the first uh, thing here is to format it as table. I'm going to select all and then go to the uh, home tab here and then format as table so any format will do just make sure that my table has headers is checked and click ok that's it now i'm gonna add three columns for that which is the day month and year and then i'm gonna put some formula for the day i'm gonna use the day formula and then refer it to the date enter that's it for the month, I'm going to use the EO month, and then this is the date, start date, comma, I'm going to put zero for the months, and then put it in a text formula. And then comma, under the text formula, we have this format MMM, and then close it, enter, that's it. Now for the year, I'm going to use year formula, and then refer it to the date and enter. So that's it, that's the data table that we have. Now the next thing is to... Uh, make a pivot uh, table so select any of your data here and then insert I'm gonna insert pivot table it automatically detects the uh, table that you have which is a table one and I'm choosing this existing worksheet and put it in uh, cell m3 and click OK now uh, let's arrange this now for the month here I'm gonna put it in a rows then the year will be in the columns, and then a quantity sold is on the values. So we have this table, then format it. Let's get off this grand total here. So just uh, go to the design, and then uh, on the grand total, off for rows and columns, choose that, and then that will be removed. Now let's change the labelings for the row label here. Uh, control age, and the find what? Uh, put the row labels and then replace it with months and then replace all We made one replacements here and then click ok now The next thing is the column labels control H again and then uh, put column labels type column labels and then replace it with year And then we made one replacement for that and click ok now let, Let's remove the sum of Type in sum of and then replace it with nothing, replace all, and then we made one replacement, click OK. That's it. Now we have a, a clean table here. Now let's put the pivot chart. So I'm going to use the analyze here and then here, pivot chart. Then just choose this clustered column here and click OK. So that's it. Now put it here and then right click. And choose this hide all field buttons on chart. That's it because we're going to use the slicer later on as a filter. And then uh, on this legend, just uh, put it on the bottom, at the bottom here. And that's it. Let's make some title here, chart title. Insert the chart title. And then refer the chart title to this quantity sold here on the table. And that's it. Now we're complete. Let's cut this uh, chart here in the table. So I'm gonna use Control X. I cut it and then go it go into this uh, report uh, sheet and then Control V. That's it. And then I'm gonna I'm going to cut also the table. Control X. Put it here. Control V. And that's it. Now I'm gonna add some margin borders. I mean. And then the number, I'm going to format it uh, as number. And then OK. That's it. 
Now, uh, let's insert the pivot slicer. Go to this Analyze here, Analyze tab, and then Insert Slicer. Then check this day, month, and year, and click OK. So that's it. Now, just arrange it. Now, for the year, let's put two columns here at, uh, at the Options tab. Two. OK, change the color here. And then for the months, let's make it uh, four columns. Okay, then make some adjustments. Okay, change the color again. Then for the days, let's make it seven columns. Okay, adjust it to reflect the numbers. And you have it. Change the color as well. And just make some uh, few more editing. Okay, to fit in. Okay, suggest it. Yeah, here and here. Smooth. Uh, let's uh, also edit the chart. Enlarge the chart here. Select it all. Move it down the level of the pivot table here and that's it now you can test it it's 2021 just first half of the month for seven days that's it and then select it all and that's working now let's go back to the data i'm gonna try to add another um data here so i have an example and hide it and then I'm, I'm going to copy it put it here in the in the table yes we and here, by just putting those data, the day, month, and year formula here are automatically calculated. So that's it. Go to the report and then just refresh it. As you can see, there is 2023. Let's um, go to the options and make it three columns. And that's it. Now you can choose uh, this portion if you want. Or just January and then all of the all the days then that will automatically be uh, being updated and that's it i'm finished here i'm done if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel and see you next time and thanks